All right, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I just want to share with you my Xcode theme. Now, you might be wondering why am I just randomly sharing this? And it's actually because a lot of people have requested that I share it. So let me just pull up a couple images. Uh, let's see, I have like three pictures of here of just comments of people asking. You can see he just barely commented about like 10 minutes ago or something asking me to share the theme. And I'm like, all right, that's the last straw. I gotta, I gotta share it because a lot of people want it and I'm cool with that. And I think that uh, that's cool. Like if you guys have simple questions like this and you want me to share it, I can definitely make videos on that because it's actually really simple for me to do that. So uh, yeah, I'm sharing it for that reason. Now, what you see here on the screen is the theme. Obviously there's some errors here and this is something other than the theme, but essentially what this project here is, is it's actually a, a, a project on using UI page view uh, controller inside of Swift UI with UI view representable. And this is a little bit off topic, but I just wanted to kind of share that because I don't have the screenshot with me, but essentially someone asked for a video on this. So I'm working on that and I'm gonna put that video out today or tomorrow. So I'll talk more about that when I in that video. But for now, let's stick to the, the theme, right? So essentially, if you go into Xcode and go to preferences, you'll see that I have this uh, Max Codes electric theme. And essentially, this is just a theme that I created uh, with emphasis on keywords specifically and this color, right? And it's actually really simple, but I'm not gonna go through each of these to give you like the exact text color. So what I'm actually gonna do is show you how you can download it. I'm gonna put a link where you can download it and then import it into your into your uh, project. If that you don't wanna do that and you just want something similar to it, you can just kind of look at what you see here and copy it. But I recommend just downloading the file and putting it in here. It's really simple. Um, I'll probably host it on like Dropbox or something I haven't yet decided, but let me show you how to actually get that file because you're probably wondering where that file is and how you can actually put it in here. So if you wanna know how to do that, let me just pull this up real quick. You'll see I have this tab open on Stack Exchange, on the Apple Stack Exchange, and it essentially is how do I get the syntax color settings from one Xcode installa installation to a new one. And the way we can do that is by CDing into this directory and let's pull up the terminal so we can do that and this might sound super like complicated and long but if you just watch this video like it's going to be super simple to get the theme so i just typed in let me do that again just so it's clear so i'm in my terminal here and i'm just going to say cd and then i pasted that in i'll include a link to this as well and then i hit return and i'm now in this font and color themes and basically we just wanna hit, type in open space and then the period, and that will open up this directory of, of uh, themes, right? And that's just in our Xcode data, okay? So you can see right here, this is the theme because it has the same name, right? So I'll include this link. Basically all you wanna do is download this, CD into the same area and drag it into here, right? And then you have the theme and then like restart Xcode and it should be inside of your preferences. Now, I think that's uh, probably the clearest way to explain it, or there's probably a better way to explain it, but essentially it's not that hard and you being developers, I'm sure you can figure out what I just explained to get the theme in there. So yeah, that's the theme. That's how you can get it in there. And since I'm on like the topic of like themes and just like uh, quick questions like this, let me just put this to the side and I just want to let you guys know like I'm back making videos. I made one yesterday and um, let's see on my website, not my website, but my YouTube. Uh, I actually got the questions on this video down here, right? Let's see the collection view one. Uh, that's where most of the people asked about the theme. What's right? up guys? Welcome back to the, oh my gosh, that is so rip. All right, so essentially, yeah, someone commented on here asking about the themes and yeah. So just wanted to let you guys know that like you can ask questions on whatever video you want and I'll get around to it eventually, right? It might not be immediately, but I will help you out with whatever you want, even if it's something as small as a theme, right? And then another thing I wanted to mention I got off topic, but essentially what I wanted to mention was that I uploaded a video yesterday. So if you could check it out, if you want, feel free. But this is kind of how the 
I'm going to be following the format of my descriptions from here on out. And I want to make emphasis of the newsletter, the Slack channel, and my Twitter, right? Because it seems like most people on here on YouTube who code use Twitter a lot. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, feel free. I use Instagram mostly, but I do tweet out every video on Twitter. You can also talk to me on Twitter and I'll reply. Um, I don't want to make emphasis of the courses because I don't really want to make this uh, a community slash channel that is focused on just making money, right? So those are there if you want them, but I'm going to put those at the bottom because I don't want that to be the emphasis. I want it to mo mostly be that community and like helping you guys out learn how to code. Also, this video is on UI hosting controller. All right, so I think that's it. I kind of just made this video off the top of my head, so it uh, might not be entirely coherent, but here's all the information that was on the top of my head as well as my theme. I'll include a link to that file, and if you forgot how to include it, just rewatch the video and it'll explain it to you. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.